All right, we're sort of cleaning up shop here. I, I forgot to I forgot to uh, talk about graphical methods. So uh, uh, one of the first methods that you would even think of that you would even attempt to find the the roots of a uh, of some equation is just plot out the equation, see what the equation looks like, and then uh, zoom in on the plot the best you can and see if you can find the roots of the of the equation. That's the back graphical method, and that's all there is to it. But uh, let's just demonstrate it here. I'm going to take a problem. Uh, I'm going to take a problem from the book, uh, so I can get a function because I have a hard time making up functions for some reason. So our function is, uh, let's see. So let's do uh, first. Let's let's get some x. X equals. Uh, let's see what the function is. Oh, I don't know. X equals minus 10, 0 0.01 to 10. That's what I always do for x. If I have no idea, I just go from negative 10 to 10 and see if we see anything interesting. And then let's uh, plot out the function. So let's go y equals uh, minus 2 times x to the 6th uh, minus 1.6 times x to the 4th uh, times uh, no. Uh, plus 12x plus 1. All right, so plot xy. That's all there is to it. Show the graph. Okay. Oh, wow, that is a boy, really ugly. Let's try that again. Make sure we clear the figure first. All right, now let's try it. Plot xy. Okay, let's go grid on. Yeah, and let's even go better than that. Grid min minor. Okay, so we have this function, and, and actually I want to do one more thing. Plot um, x and then zeros size x. Uh, and let's do those in... Um, Let's do that in magenta. Okay. Uh, before we do that, we better put hold on, hold on, hold on. Just just tells MATLAB that I don't want it to delete what was on the on the plot previously. So let's do that. Now I'll show you the graph. Okay. So let's make this a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see. And. Oh no, <laughs> we have this problem. So you see what's going on here is we have we have our function and it has all these roots and we're supposed to find the root of the function, right? Uh yeah, well I this helps. It's between minus four and four. Um but see this sort of demonstrates one of the drawbacks of the graphical approach because you zoom in and you say, well, I don't know. Where is it? Oh, actually, hang on. We might be... Actually, I think we might have seen some. I think it sort of wobbled up there in the middle. Actually, let's try this again. So let's try just there. So let's try to go on the full range there. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, here let's zoom in a little bit more. Whoa, okay, look, it's got more roots. And that's hard to see, you know. Uh, but see, it looks like we got a root uh, just less than zero at like minus 0.25. It looks like we have another root at one point, oh, I don't even know what that is. Uh, if that's 0 0.5, that's going to be almost 1.5. There it'll be 1.25, a little yeah, about 1.25, we got another root. So that's crazy. And it, let's pan around a little bit. Zoomed in that far. Wow. So, so you see, uh, the graphical method isn't always isn't always that nice to us. And this is times 10 to the 6th. This axis is times 10 to the 6th. So uh, I think that actually does a decent job of demonstrating both the graphical method that it can be used to to solve the roots of uh, to to find the roots of an equation you just plot it out and you look uh, but then also 
uh, how sometimes it can be really tough with a graphical method to zoom in and really figure out uh, what's going on. And and I like in this case, we sort of get to see the function is x to the, it's got a six to the sixth in it and to the fourth, and so uh, we got some high order stuff going on. So we know that it's it's not quite as simple as what it looks here, but uh, but again, that's that's the graphical method.